Those driverless cars, they're created by a company called Cruise, and they've caused some issues along Austin's roads. And you may have seen them at night, bright lights and slowed speeds with nobody behind the wheel. KXAN's Blake Devine joins us live with the details in downtown Austin. So, Blake, you took a test drive in one of these cars. What can you tell us? Jennifer and Daniel, you may have seen these driverless cars cruising around Austin at night. There's over 100 in the Austin area, bringing about a lot of questions and a little bit of controversy. I see them at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., their blinkers on or their hazards on or just all around the neighborhood. Raina Hornaday lives in a quiet and quaint neighborhood in West Austin. Their own traffic. But in the middle of the night, there's another one. Her street becomes crowded with cars. Last night we counted 25 within 20 minutes. It's just a lot of of unnecessary commotion. Driverless car company crew says its autonomous vehicles are limited to driving a certain speed. Ultimately, our vehicles can only travel right now at about 25 miles an hour. So if you think about what roads are 25 miles an hour, that's similar to where, where we're driving right now. I hopped in one of these cruise cars with Michael Staples, general manager of the Austin region, who says there's a need for this type of transportation. Cruise vehicles are safer than humans. Why are we safer? Well, first of all, we don't get drunk. We don't drink and drive. We don't get tired, right? We follow the rules of the road. We're, you know, Travis County Judge Andy Brown also took a test drive. During his drive, he said his robo taxi stopped in the street. There's no city or county anything that is regulating them or, or overseeing what they're doing. And the fact that it's in a testing phase, but there's not the safeguard of a human in the front does concern me. This is nothing new as we've seen several of these self-driving cars causing chaos along Austin's roads. At the end of the day, we're not perfect. There will be situations where the vehicle will experience something where again, it's, it's uncertain of what to do next. So when it doesn't know what to do, it's gonna default to its safest action, which is pulling over. Despite these roadblocks, it actually is taking a little bit of a longer route. The company plans to expand services beyond the downtown Austin area to Dallas and Houston. People are saying, I'm never gonna get in a car with a robot, but as soon as they get in there and they feel it and they have that experience, they forget very quickly that there's no one driving the vehicle. And we'll soon see a larger six seat van created by Cruise driving along Austin's roadways and this one won't have a steering wheel. Jennifer, Daniel, back to you.